everyone, this is Chris, and welcome to my channel. Be sure to subscribe as more iOS jailbreak videos are coming soon. So, we have some good news to talk about today. Keen Security Lab has just released a jailbreak for iOS 11.1.1. .1. We got our focus on this jailbreak after security engineer Min Zeng shared the photographs from the jailbreak demo on his Twitter account. Last time, also, they had successfully jailbroken iOS 11.0 and iOS 10.3.2 using same Keen IPA-based method, and it properly worked up to iOS 11.1.1. .1. The latest iOS jailbreak was originally introduced at POC 2017 Security Conference in Seoul, Korea. Lang Chin has demonstrated this iOS 11.1.1 .1 with iPhone 10. This time, main focus of the conference was on security research. In this demonstration, Lang used the same Keen Jailbreak app, which he used to jailbreak iOS 10.3.2 and iOS 11 developer beta, and the device was the top-notch gadget of Apple, the iPhone 10. The jailbreak used by Keen Lab Dev looks like a push-button tool, and they also demonstrate about it. This is kind of a happy news for jailbreak community and all peoples who are waiting to make their devices out of restrictions of the iOS. However, there were some problems with this jailbreak. Number one, this original jailbreak was tethered so the iDevice usually gets auto-restarted and removes the jailbreak so you have to jailbreak the iDevice after every restart. Number two, we all know that before jailbreaking, we have to create the backup, so doing it every time is really frustrating. Number three, to jailbreak the iDevices, you need a PC or Mac, along with Apple developer account with deep and proper understanding on how to jailbreak the iDevice. Usually, not every person can resolve above three issues. That's why, to avoid security breach, Keen Lab team are not releasing their iOS jailbreak to the public. However, we have used the developer release of Keen Lab jailbreak and converted this PC and Mac based jailbreak to a web based secured and easy tool. With some changes, we are now able to jailbreak all the iOS 11.1.x and 11.2.x versions which is completely untethered. Here, we will first install the Keen Lab app through the web app we have developed. Once the Keen Lab is installed, we will use it to install the Cydia. So, let's get started. Here, I am using the latest iPhone 10 for demonstration purposes. Before starting this jailbreak, you need to turn off the Find My iPhone option. You can turn it on later after jailbreaking. Then, make sure you back up your iDevice using iTunes. You can just connect your iDevice to Mac or PC and click on Backup Now button on iTunes to create the backup. Once you are done with the mentioned requirements, open up Safari browser and head over to this site, keenlabjb.com. Here, we will be first installing the KeenLab app which will later install the Cydia application. You can see the iOS version installed on your iDevice here. Now, click on this Install Now button. The tool will first bypass the sandbox. Once we are out of sandbox, it will start exploiting the kernel. After successful exploit, the tool will begin patching the kernel with code to allow installation for Keen Lab app. Since AMCC cannot be bypassed through web applications, we have got it covered another way. We will need to download one of the verified apps from App Store. There are few of the selected apps from App Store which has a feature of blocking AMCC as approved by the App Store guidelines. So, all we need to do now is just download and install any of the app below and then run it to block or bypass the AMCC. Once the AMCC is bypassed, 
the KeenLab app will be installed on your iDevice. So, let's proceed to install one of the app. You can see the instructions here for how to unlock this app for blocking AMCC. Now, download the app you have chosen. After downloading the app, open it and perform the mentioned instructions. If you have followed the instructions correctly, you should see the Keen Lab app on home screen. If you do not see the app here, just give it another try. All right, we have got the Keen Lab app. Now it's time to install the Cydia through it. Proceed and run this Keen Lab app and click on this jailbreak button. Here, the Keen Lab will follow the same steps for installing Cydia. You can see here it is exploiting the kernel again and patching it to install the Cydia. This time, we are able to bypass the AMCC without any issue. There you have it, the jailbreak is successful, and you should see the Cydia on home screen. To make the Cydia stable, restart your device once. Since it is an untethered jailbreak, you will see the Cydia even after rebooting your device. You can now proceed to run Cydia and install the tweaks. I have tested a lot of tweaks, and majority of them are working fine with iOS 11. If you face any issue, just comment down below, and I will be more than happy to help you out. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.